Helen from Twinkle. Today we're going to look at our Under the Sea activity book that is available for ages five to seven. Should we go and have a look what it's like? Whether you want to use colouring pencils, crayons or even paint, the front cover of the booklet is full of incredible illustrations that will keep children entertained. Within the booklet there are nine activities. We're going to take a look at each one and then we're going to look at three of them in a little bit more detail. First up, we've got this Describe an Octopus. It's fantastic because it has lots of words to help little ones use their descriptive language when describing the friendly octopus. The coral reef art craft instructions might allow children to get inspired and create a fantastic masterpiece using tissue paper. Why not use your observation skills so that you can spot the difference between this picture and this picture. Word searches can improve vocabulary, help with focus and generally improve mental accuracy. Why not give it a go? This mermaid tracing activity is fantastic. Have a go on the sheet or why not get a tray of sand or rice or glitter or flour or oats, anything and have a go at those complex patterns. This CD fish craft is a lovely thing to make. If you've got some CDs lying around the house, you could have a go at this lovely craft activity. If you don't have any CDs, you could always just use some tin foil to make your own circle for the middle of the fish. Now, shall we have a look at three of the activities in a little bit more detail? The first we're going to look at is this fantastic mermaid's egg. To create our mermaid egg, it says on the activity sheet to use air dry clay. I don't have any, so I'm using homemade Play-Doh. There are loads of recipes on our website. You could maybe use one of those. Salt dough works really well as well. All you need to do with a piece of foil is Crunch it up and try to make an egg shape-ish. Then, using your Play-Doh, I've made some scented Play-Doh here. It smells like coconut. Rolling pin, we're going to make our mermaid egg. This goes in the middle, the Play-Doh gets wrapped around it, and then we use some things to decorate. Here, I've got some coloured beans, some sequins, some jewels, and some beads. Let's get going. So here is our decorated mermaid egg. It looks fantastic. <gasps> Wait, we've got this letter. Shall I read it to you? Hello children, I'm writing you this message to ask for your help. I have a huge problem. Some of my mermaid scales have fallen off. This means my tail is no longer waterproof. I need something to cover my tail until my new scales grow. Please help me by investigating what fabric would be best for my new scales. Thank you from Marissa Mermaid. This means that we could do a little science investigation. Shall we go and do it? To create a simple science investigation to investigate what material to use for Marissa Mermaid, we are going to very simply use three plastic cups, three bits of material that you could choose, some water, elastic bands and a spoon. First thing that you need to do is put the material over the plastic cup and secure it with an elastic band, just like this. Now, we have three different types of material to test. We've picked some kitchen roll, plastic and this is just a plastic bag cut up 
and a piece of cloth. Now, the material which is best is going to be the one that doesn't let any water into the cup and the water will stay on the top. All we're going to do is put a spoon of water on each one and see which one would be best for the mermaid's tail. Once we've done this, we can see that this one here, the water is soaked through the material and there's a little bit of water in the cup underneath here. Can you see? A little bit there. Now this one, ooh, this one, the water kind of stayed on the top, but a little bit, tiny bit, is in the cup. Now this one here, all of the water is on top. So in our simple science investigation, we can report that the plastic would be best to protect the scales whilst they got better. A super simple science investigation that is fun for everybody. Our last activity that I'm going to show you in a little bit more detail is our wonderful under the sea Play-Doh mats. Play-Doh mats are fantastic. They are a great way to inspire children to make lots of different things out of Play-Doh. The ones included in this pack are all to do with making eight legs for your octopus and then making a starfish. It's a lovely starter activity and children can then be inspired to make their own Play-Doh creations. This activity booklet is fantastic. It is full of activities. There is something to suit everybody. Why not go and check it out on our website? I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.